Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, I'm gonna to be showing you a very, very special product. One, many of you actually subscribe to my channel for. Now, if you don't remember, you actually subscribe to my channel for coding, programming, key programming, cloning, and everything related to diagnosing these cars and finding faults. But today, I've been given a very, very special product to bring to you on this video. And many of you will probably be wondering, what am I exactly going on about when I say you subscribe to me for this? Well, when you see the product in question, you understand more and you understand why you subscribe to me. Now this product, we are gonna be using a lot and be focusing on this product a lot on this channel from now on. And there is a reason behind that and I will get onto it when we get onto this video. I'm very, very excited to be showing you this and, and I will point out, it's affordable for the many. So you will be able to afford this tool and I won't be able to link an Amazon link in the description purely because it's not on Amazon. So this is what keeps the cost low. So therefore, I'm not worried about making money off this. I'm not gonna be making no money from you guys or any commission from the sales of this product. If it's not on Amazon and I don't believe it's on eBay, you have to buy it direct from them. So let's get onto this video and I'll show you what this product is. What? God damn, get it done with you. When the blow up now, everybody's so unusual with it. Shit. But said times in his rhymes because his memories. We run into New York, so you know. Okay, guys, so you can probably see here I've got a briefcase, and many of you are probably thinking, why in the hell am I standing there looking like a doctor with a briefcase in my hand? The only thing I'm missing is an actual suit or a stethoscope. Apart from that, I'm sitting here with a briefcase. Now, obviously it does not come like this. I've done it like this to be able to show you what this product actually is. And you can see here it's in a small carry case and it's not big by any means at all. Um, it was in another box. I did take it out of the box to be able to do this video for you guys. Now, the shocking thing is, this has a lot of stuff inside it and I will go over the price in just a sec because I know many of you are curious to know how much it's gonna cost, but let me get onto the functions. Let me get onto what this can do. Then you understand why you subscribe to me and why I'm gonna be using this. Many of you all the time ask me in all my other videos, can you please do a video on this? So let's get onto it. I'll open it up and show you what's inside this box. Okay, so here it is guys. This is an X tool product. Now many of you already be aware who X tool are. And the reason they sent me this product, if many of you guys don't know, 10 months ago I reviewed their D7 product. Now, as you can see, I clearly wasn't wrong because they've sent me this one. And there's a reason for that. The D7 did not do what this can do. Now, when I showed you on the review, yes, the BMW function was there on the D7, but it didn't do what we wanted on the newer BMWs. This one, however, does do that. I'm gonna be showing you the functions it's actually got. Many of you are gonna be surprised. Now, I will again, I will repeat, I will tell you the actual cost of this device in just a second. But let me open it, let me show you what's inside so you can get a glimpse of what it will come with for that price. It will not miss anything, it will come exactly as you see it right here. So let's just pop it open. And inside, you can see the scan tool. There is no adapters at the top, as you can see there, it's just flat, it just protects the scan tool inside. Now, one thing I just wanna point out is many people are gonna think this can't come with much because it ain't fully packed like a normal scan tool, but I assure you right now, it comes with a lot of different pieces. Now inside here, you've got the scan tool. Now this is the X100 and it's very heavy. It's solid metal, you can see there, knocking on it. Solid metal scan tool. It's obviously got a kickstand as well at the back that you can stand it up if you wanted to and it just locks in to stop it coming back out. You got your USB up there, you get the port to plug your diagnostics port on, you got your power on on button, and you've obviously got the brand right there as well, which is X-Tool. Um, you've got a camera on the back, so if you need to take pictures of or anything, and I believe they're gonna have another diagnostic interface that's gonna go here as well, which is magnetic, so do bear that in mind, or I think it might be a stand to charge it. Not 100% sure, but obviously this is the newest um, product they've actually got on the market, and this is why they sent it to me for review. And I can tell you, after I have been using this, this product is very, very good and well worth the money. 
So now we've shown you the scan tool and we'll turn it on in a minute and I'll show you. Let's go underneath of here and show you what's inside. So as you lift that up and you lift this up, you can see everything inside the box. Now, if many of you don't know what's in there, I will now explain. So you'll see here, this is all the accessories that x -Tool comes with. Now, inside you've got all your adapters. So you've got an adapter for Mazda, Honda, Kia and Hyundai, Kia, and then you've got your standard OBD port that you would use on any other car. Here you have your lead that will connect in to your diagnostic scan tool. So you just connect it in like that from that port to the top of the scanner. And then you would use this OBD port right here in the corner and you'd connect this on to this one. You have all the different ports and this is for a reason. So we're gonna keep that out because we're gonna be connecting that up to the scan tool. Inside, you'll also find an EEPROM adapter. Now, over here, you've got your different EEPROMs. So when you remove the EEPROM from an instrument cluster or anything else, you can do mileage correction, um, key programming, everything you want to do via this EEPROM adapter. You've got two of them right in here and they will come in both useful and they'll work on any of the cars that you see, it'll work on all manufacturers. You've got that right here as well. You've also got your charger. So to charge, obviously, the tablet up. And you've also got this, which is an x -Tool key programmer. And as you can see, this is the key programmer itself, the ring, it's actually program the key. And you've also got a transmitter area to pick up the signal and frequency of the key to make sure it's fully working with the car itself. Now, this is quite expensive alone and you'll probably pay around 200 pounds for just to have this. Now, if you can see, this is the same make as the ones you've seen me use before. It's just rebranded with x -Tool. You can see there, that's the transponder measure area, and you've also got the key, which it shows you how to plug it into the tablet. This will read it automatically, and I'll show you the function on the tablet you get to use. We are gonna go ahead and plug this up so I can show you the functions it actually has. We're not gonna do no key programming as such yet, but um, we are gonna be using this a lot to show you how to program keys on the bench and whatever else. So we are gonna show you that this actually does work. And so forth with the EEPROM adapter as well. The EEPROM, if you take the chips out of the instrument cluster, many of you who are on the membership will know to remove that. You can put them into here, do what you need to do. But that's not all it can do, guys. It can do a lot more than that, but I have to show you that on the system itself. That's purely because it doesn't come with an adapter, but it does many functions. Many of you guys ask me for all the time um, and you having to take it to a dealer or find a specialist to do that. The amount of money you're gonna pay them, you can buy this device. And the price of all this is very, very cheap. If you guys wanna know the price of it, with the key programmer, EEPROM adapter, and this can do everything. This scanner is bi-directional as well. It can code, it can program, it can do it all. The cost of it is 800 pounds, which is about $1,000 to buy this scan tool direct from XTOL. And if you're in the UK, that is without tax. That's from buying it from Extol Direct in the UK for 800 pound, no more than that. If you don't believe me, go and find it on Google. It's the Extol X100 Pad Elite, and you'll be able to see the price of it. For what this comes with, for how good it works, it is well worth the price. I do want to go over on the scan tool though. So on the scan tool, you'll see right here, and this is our lead, and it has a Velcro right there as well. So we'll just undo that, like that. And we're going to plug this in. So if we just plug this into our scan tool, which will be just like that. And you do want to screw these in because you don't want to lose connection. And make sure you screw these in, especially if you're programming a key, because it's very, very important that you don't lose connection to each, from the um, diagnostic system itself to the key programmer. And then you'll just plug your OBD port into that. So we'll just go ahead and plug ours into this one right now, just like that. And you can see there it attaches perfectly. And then you just plug this into the car. And we're gonna go ahead and plug it in to the BM. And I'll show you all the functions this can do. As I said, there's many of you that ask me about what functions this device can actually do. And I will just start it up right here so you guys can actually see. We'll pull up on the kickstand. So you can see how that works as well. We'll just put that onto the kickstand right there. And we'll power it on for you so you get to see it power on and how it works. So you can see there, we'll greet by an external screen. And I'll show you all the functions, then we'll go over to the car, we'll plug the key programmer in, plug it into the BM and we'll see, um, show you what you can do. So you see that it all loads up. This is the typical X-Tool screen with the revs loading up. 
and you get the cart that comes in the middle. That's how X tools all are. Now, bear in mind, this isn't the D8, this isn't the D7, this is the X100 Pad Elite. So the Elite can do everything them ones could do and more. So do remember that. Now we'll just load up the X tools UI. Obviously, these are all Android operated. So you can see here, um, you got all the functions you need. So you've got all your special functions, your key programming, which we'll go over in a minute. Diagnosis, remote control. So if you do get stuck, Xtool can remote you and help you with whatever you've done wrong. You've got special functions. You've got all the resets as well. You can do, it's all bi-directional as well. So you can do everything you ever wanted to do. Headlight, ADS, electronic pump activation, suspension, control unit resets, write the VIN. Many of you always ask me about how to write a new VIN to your new module on your VM. This one can do that. This is one of the things I was gonna go over about. You've got odometer read, so you can read the mileage. Many of you as well ask me, how can you detect a, a, a mileage back, if someone backs the mileage, um, you'll be able to do that. Any kind of tampering, you can do gearbox match, um, so that's to do your mechatronics. Unit when you change the gearbox over. You can basically do everything you need to do with this scan tool. You've also got the EEPROM there as well. EEPROM functions, so you'll be able to do all your EEPROM stuff from the car as well. Reading the EEPROMs and raising it and calibrating it, and this will help you along the way of doing that so you won't have to figure out what you need to do with the EEPROM. This guides you and tells you what needs to do or it can do it automatically for you as well. We'll go over the more functions when we plug it up to the car. You see the key program in there, right there, and you've got BMW and everything else you ever need there. You've got every single car manufacturer you ever need. So it isn't just specific for one car. This can do every single car you can think of, regardless that key programmer works with all cars, regardless, even my Porsche, it'd work on that. But we are gonna be plugging this up to the BM today, and I'll show you all the functions. Okay guys, so right now we've got this plugged up to the BMW 60 M5. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the functions in key programming. Um, we need to put the key programmer in. Um, and it's not easy holding this scan tool because it's very, very heavy. Many of you will think, Probably not, it really, really is. It's a very, very heavy scan tool um, where it's solid metal. So we just need to plug the key programmer in, which I'm just doing quickly now. And you can see there, our key programmer is now connected and it's on, it's reading. So you can see here, it tells you that it's connected right here. So you just click OK. Now what we'll do is click BMW. Now what we'll do is go to connect. Now if you can see here, this is all the things you'll be able to do with this tool. So you can disable and enable a key. You'll be able to disassemble and read the ECU. Exit shipping mode. You'll be able to do immobilizer, which will be all your keys. EMS, EGS, many of you message me all the time where you've changed gearboxes and it won't work with your car. That's because if it's got a different mechatronics, it will have a different ISN, which means the car will not drive. You need to link the same ISNs to the gearbox, to the DME, to the CAS, to all match to be able to drive the car. And this will be able to do that to register the ISNs. This is a much easier way than having to go to a specialist to be able to do that. These tools can do all that. You've got instrument cluster as well. So if we just click instrument cluster, you can manually select the car and you can select the chassis. So it would just be an E chassis and we can do mileage repair, write data or read the data. So you can see all the functions that can do just there. And we can click finish and come out of that. And if we go to, I don't know, um, EMS, manual select, and we can go to our find our ECU. So let's see if ours is there. So ours ain't an MSV70, that would be for the M52. M52 again, our ECU would be somewhere along here, but it's not on here. So you can see here, you can also do the ECU. So if you need to clone an ECU, you can do it via this tool. Many of you end up with water damage ECUs. You'll be able to clone the ECU with this tool very, very easily. And it's very good at what it does. Instrument cluster, you've seen that already. We go to EGS, manual select, and we've got a six HP E chassis. So we'll just click that, and you'll see all the functions this can do. If we can connect to the gearbox, and what this actually gives you, you guys will be able to do everything just like myself with this simple tool. And this is one of the reasons Xtool chose to send this to me because of that reason, because they know what I do. They know many of you are always commenting, asking, how do you do this? How do you do that? And that is how you'll do it. You can see here, you've got synchronized EGS parameters, erase the DTC codes, reset EGS, read programming status, read ECU information. So you'll be able to synchronize the EGS parameters, which will be the ISN and everything else. If you need to, you can read the programming status, if it's been programmed or not programmed, and you'll be able to raise the DTC codes as well from the EGS. So we can click finish on that one and come out of it, and we can go to a mobilizer, and we can do manual select, and obviously 
we are a CAS 1 to 3. So you can see here, this does all of it as well. This can also do, as you'll see there, CAS 4, FEM, BDC, EWS, it even does E46 as well. If you want to program the key, you can do that. As you see, because I've connected to the CAS, you will end up with a gong light on the dash. And if you can see here, which is for the DTC, and the moment you go to program a key, you will end up with the ELV lock come on. Do not panic. It is perfectly normal for the ELV light to come on, especially with the way these cars get keys programmed. That's why you've got synchronized ELV there and you've also got a raised DTC and a raised shadow code. Because it is very common when you do program a key, everyone will panic, remove the key, do not do that. It's perfectly normal. You have every function here to synchronize, resynchronize everything. Even a DME with the key if it comes out of sync. So do not panic and just think of pulling the adapter out, start panicking, it will not lock your ELV up. You'll be able to re redo it with this. In here you can see read key info, key programming, CAS update, CAS restore, synchronize DME, synchronize ELV, erase DTC, erase shadow codes, you've got the help, you've got the adapter file generation key. So if you wanna make a file of an original key and you wanna load it to here to make a key, you can also do that. Or you can copy the key. Now this also will do all keys lost. So if you do lose all the keys, you'll be able to redo it on this X tool. You've also got refresh, ECU, anti-theft data, and then you've got the function introduction. Now that's all the options you'll get, bear, bearing in mind, just alone on the CAS. Many of you of E60 and E90 will only have a CAS module. If you have an F series, however, you will have, some of you will have an FEM, especially on the one series, two series, maybe some of the three series, but five series and up will have still have a CAS module. And you also have an FEM as well. So just be aware of that. Your keys will all be stored in the FEM and the CAS, especially on the five series and up. So do make, be sure of that. If you've got one series and two series, your keys will be stored in your FEM and not your CAS module. But you still be able to do all the functions you see here. You can now make keys via the OBD and you've been able to do that for a long, long, long time. So do not worry. I'm just gonna clear that DTC because obviously we've got a DTC code and we don't need that. That's for the traction control, which is perfectly normal. But you can see there, you've got EWS function as well. So that'll be for E46. So if you just click that, you'll get that as well to be able to do. You can program keys. If we click FEM, you've got all these different functions on the FEM as well for F-Series. You've got reset mileage, reset the starter lock, synchronize at ELV, get ISM from the original car key. Fixed key does not start. So if your key doesn't start the car, you can click that and it will do it. Forcibly turn on the ignition switch. So that would be if you've got all keys lost and your door is open, you can turn on the ignition with this OBD because the CAS will always wake up when the door handle is opened and the interior lights come on. So the CAS will wake up. So that will turn on the ignition to keep it on while you program a key. You've also got the trunk function. So you can open the trunk, which they do advise on the F-Series when programming a key to keep the trunk open at all times so the battery power doesn't drain. You also got program and repair, synchronize ELV, and everything else that you would find on an E-Series, not much different. BDC, you've got all them functions as well. So you've got every function you want on there. Now, obviously there is other models as well. So you've got, if you know what CAS it is you've got on your car, you'll be able to um, just come in here to manually write to the CAS um, a new key. If you've, for instance, you've got an EEPROM file that you've made on the bench or anything like that, you can just instantly select the CAS module. You need to know the number of it. They're all different. The only way you can really read them is um, via on the bench. You've got to read them. So really this is for most experts um, who know what they're doing with the CAS modules like myself. And you'll be able to just write it to it very, very easily without the need of having to make the key, put the key into the system and deal with all that. It's an easy way of doing it. But you can see there, Everything works perfectly and it does work. You can see here the key programmer is literally still on and flashing. And this will test the frequency, as I said, with the key. So when you make it, you've got to remember, you've got all different megahertz signals for the key. So just be sure you click the right one. When we come out of here, if we click auto scan, you'll see there, I just want to show you that this is bi-directional as well. So you can click auto scan and it scans the car very, very quickly. Um, I was very, very surprised when I first used this, how quick the scan to actually scan the car. And you'll see here right now, we're going to go ahead and scan it. Probably have a fault code now because I just went into key programming, um, but we'll clear that as well if it is still there or it will just go away once the car goes into sleep mode. And you can see there's waiting for communication to the car, reading the VIM. And we'll just go ahead and scan it and show you all the functions it's got inside the scan tool. So you can see there's detected what car it is, the VIN number, everything else. We'll just click OK. Then we'll do scanning. And you'll just see how quick this really just scans the whole car 
very, very quickly. So if we just do automatic diagnosis, you can see there, look how quick that word moves. And that's how quick it just scanned, scanned the whole car, guys. It's a scan, literally, the whole car quickly. And we'll just do clear DTCs. You can see there, we've got DTCs, and that is because of the key programming has to be expected. Majority of the codes as well, do not worry. When the car goes to sleep, we'll clear it automatically on their own. You can see there's trying to clear them trouble codes. We might have to wait a bit for them to actually do. Um, if not, we'll have to clo close this down and redo it, but I don't think it should take that long to be able to do that. But if we just clear that, and then what we can do here is just go back onto it. So we'll just click the car icon right there. So if you ever have to do that, you just do that. And I'll just show you all the special functions it can do. So we'll just load up the screen again. And obviously, just click auto scan, and we'll get to pick the module we want to access. So once it scans it, the module will be there. We'll be able to just pick what module we want. So anything you want to do, this scan tool can do for you. So do not think it can't do it. It's a very, very good scan tool. Um, and it can do everything you guys message me for all the time. As I've told you many times, scan tools are getting to the point now where you'll be able to do everything I was able to do on a bench on the car via OBD. I would say though, to make sure you've always got a proper power supply plugged up to the car when doing this, just to be safe, because it's better to be safe than sorry. Now, if we go to system diagnostics, you can see that we've got drive, chassis and body, click drive, engine system DME, action test, and you've got all that. You can just control, you control all the actions of the car, come out of that, we can go to transmission control, action test, and you've got overview or shift. Uh, you've got the read the data stream, so this does all your live data as well. You can see there, people ask me all the time about OBD tools that can read di live data, it can do that. Got diagnostic DME, dynamic stability control, electronic dampering, you can do that, adjustment and program. So you can do all that as well. You've got the body, crash safety module, steering column switch, and you can do all that as well. Trumpet, steering wheel, heater, washer, wiper. You've got all them, body gateway module, Close the luggage compartment, open control unit reset. So there's your, all your answer you can do, but it's all bi-directional. You can do everything you need to do with this scan tool. Overall guys, this is a really, really good scan tool and one I believe is worth buying. Bear in mind, it's 800 pounds. That's about thousand dollars for this scan tool guys. And it comes with everything in the box. They're not gonna charge you any extra. I believe it's two years free updates on this as well. You don't need to worry about paying for updates. Even if you're a garage, and you want to get into locksmiths and start doing key programming, this is a very easy tool to get into and you'll be able to do everything just like me. Basically, there's a lot of professionals that do use these on the bench for doing certain module repairs because this can do it all. And now you guys will be able to do it on your car without no issue. You just think of the price you'll pay for a new DME to be cloned. You can buy this scan tool and have it forever and never have to worry. And if anyone else, friends, family, was ever to have that problem, you can make your money back very, very easily just by having this tool. So I believe it is well worth the money and well worth the cost of every, with everything it comes with. So guys, this is the X-Tool X100 Pad Elite that I've just shown you on this video. You would have seen all the functions this can do. Now, this isn't a joke. Every single time you guys will message me saying you have one of the problems that this scan tool can fix on your car. Now, obviously, you know, it ain't gonna be cheap and affordable for everyone. But for 800 quid, especially here in the UK, most people would pay two to 300 pounds just to have a DME cloned or repaired by anyone that can actually do it. And that would be the same in most countries. Most people will charge a fortune for that because obviously certain DMEs are expensive and even hard to get hold of. And when they are, obviously people charge more for them. So when you consider the cost of this and that the fact it ain't just gonna clone just your DME, it can do your EGS or the mechatronics if you change your gearbox, it can do your keys. It could do everything many of you guys message me for all the time. Many of you subscribe to me because of this reason, because of everything I do regarding keys, cloning, programming. This is the perfect tool for your needs. And think, this isn't just aimed at specialist people. This explains everything very clearly of what you need to do. And watching this video, I've just explained every function and how you'd program a key, how, what you would clone and what, what option you'd go into to be able to do that all the professional side of the options, you wouldn't need to touch unless you know what you're doing. But if you are a professional and do this already, then you'll understand what functions already on there and what ones to go through, just like myself. But for you, those of you who ain't professional and do want to get into it, this is a good scan tool to enter the market and be able to start making yourself money. Obviously, BMW's a big world. In the US, a lot of EDMEs get water damage and this scan tool can do that. So why not just buy it? 800 pound is a thousand dollars. 
I know people in the UK will go and buy this. I know locksmiths will go and buy this. I know people who are trying to start a business with these kind of products will go and buy this. Why? Because of the price of it and what it can do. In two years, if you're making money from this, you'll make your money back and clear this within no time, within the first week of working, doing business with the scan tool. So it does make sense to buy it. It's not, we're not talking a 2,000 pound scan tool, we're not taking a, talking a $4,000 scan tool. 800 quid gets you all that. You're able to do program keys, DME cloning, instrument cluster, mileage repair. Everything you guys want is on this device. It's bi-directional, scans the car, it's got a lot of reset options. What are you waiting for, guys? Once now you've seen this video, go ahead, go to Xtool Direct and buy this product. It's available in the US, it's available in the UK. Xtool.co.uk, you'll see it, there's no tax to pay, but it's already in the country. The price is 800 and I believe eight pound or 880 pound, something around that figure. I've checked it myself, so I know. I will try and link it below for many of you who won't be able to find it and don't believe me, so you can see the price, but that is the price of this scan tool and it is well, well worth it. And it's such an incredible scan tool very, very weighty, and it will last you a very, very long time and do everything you guys always mention me for. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video of the Xtool X100 Pad Elite. This was actually sent to me by Xtool. Thank you very much for watching, guys. It's BMW Dr. Dean here, and goodbye.